Students in a ROP digital media arts class at Kalinga High School were the recipients of a once in a lifetime learning experience. Yeah, and tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with how one of the top photographers in the entire world landed in their classroom, Juanita. Well, there probably isn't a photographer out there who hasn't heard the name Peter Hurley known worldwide for his work. He gave students at Kalinga High School a lesson in art they will never forget. Some of the famous faces photographer Peter Hurley has captured with his camera. Think about when you smile. What is it doing to the muscles in your face? Hurley is one of the most successful and well-known headshot photographers in the world. And on this Thursday, he found his way to this classroom at Kualinga High School. I have been teaching for quite a long time, but I've never come into a high school classroom uh, and taught photography. It was a relationship between teacher Julie Lance, who teaches ROP Digital Media Arts, and Hurley that got him here. The two met at one of his workshops in Las Vegas and kept in touch. She had read my book and got through it and she called me and she said, I really want your book to be the curriculum for my class. And I was like, oh my goodness, I was so honored. I was like blown away by it. He's the best in the world at what he does. Bringing him here would give these kids something that they will take with them for the rest of their life. Knows this way a little bit. Hurley conducted three workshops that day, teaching students about the importance of good lighting. That's it, so you can set that light up first. See how it lights the cheek like that? He talked to them about finding that sweet spot. Hold that right there. Getting the perfect expression from your subject. Give me the brow pressure, switch up the eyes a little bit more with the squinch, you did it. It's a technique he developed and trademarked called squinching. There's a fine line between your eyes being too closed and your eyes looking confident. And I physically would work with people to make sure that they could do it on, on and it changed, I believe that changed my entire career. The students who chose to be his models were in awe. Here we go. Wow. And learned a lot about themselves. It was like mind blowing, like to be in the presence of someone who's that good at what he does and to get the best pictures that he can out of you. And for those who might want to do this as a career, hearing Hurley's story. I say that stuff to make you laugh on purpose. Learning that he was self-taught showed them a pathway. And the whole time I was just taking notes and I was learning and I was taking it all in. It was, it's such like a memorable, memorable day. Like I'm so thankful that my teacher could bring him here. Hurley knew he could only teach them so much in a two hour workshop. His goal was to inspire them. If I walk out of here and they study my material because they were inspired by me, then that really did it because there's only so much I could do in a couple hours with these kids. But it means a lot for me to watch these kids' eyes widen and understand that this may be something that they could not only love for the rest of their life, but make a living at it if they wanted to. Now those students that were his subjects, they were mm -hmm. able to keep their photographs. Wow. Which would have cost them thousands of, of course. dollars. Yeah. Right. It was just so fun to watch these kids and see that they realized that they had a look, you know. Yeah, yeah. and he, he was able to bring that out. Yeah. He the, was a great teacher. The best teacher. in the world, right front and center. How about right. that? Right at That's Kalinga great. High School. Very 